Last week, the FDA had hearings on CBD with CBD stakeholders, and uh, Leafly.com came out with five takeaways from the FDA and the FDA's concern about CBD being out in the marketplace without being highly regulated by the FDA. Anyway, let's go and talk about the uh, five real quick. I'm going to go through the first three real quick because it's the last two that I wanted to dwell in a little bit. Number one, there's too much junk in the CBD market, basically saying that you don't know what you're getting, uh, you don't know who you can trust. They did some testing, and uh, there's a lot of product out there that is not producing what they're advertising. Consumers have no way of knowing what's legitimate. Again, that's just a uh, trust issue. A lot of companies out there are popping up with CBD products. Can they be trusted or not? Many people still have no clue to what CBD is. Um, that's true. So that's an education issue. There needs to be a lot more education about CBD. Uh, and people are starting to learn more about CBD. I will tell you that uh, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to find the truth about CBD out there uh, and test studies, but I was able to. Uh, the FDA has serious concerns about side effects. Now, this is one of the ones that concerns me a little bit, that the FDA is concerned about side effects because, as you will see very shortly, that the FDA knows full well the answer to whether there are side effects with CBD. And I'm going to go ahead and be a spoiler and tell you that uh, the answer is no. And the FDA knows that because they've been testing CBD for quite a while. The government has. So they know the answer to that question already. And they're being a little disingenuous. And then the anecdotal evidence doesn't play well at the FDA. That's number five. Basically meaning that it's not enough for you to go up to them and tell them, hey, I'm using CBD from XYZ, and it's helping me. As a matter of fact, it cured my cancer, it took care of my, reduced my tumor, or eliminated my brain tumor, or uh, it's helped my Alzheimer's. It doesn't matter whether you say that or not. Your testimony means nothing. The FDA doesn't work like that. This is an agency founded on the principle that policy must be established based on scientific evidence. This is what they're saying in these meetings. This is what, what, what they came out. This is one of the things that came out in these meetings, these hearings. Again, folks, very disingenuous because there is much scientific evidence, as you're going to see in this video, that there is much scientific evidence in scientific and medical journals on the effectiveness of CBD for a wide range of ailments. And they know that, folks, because the government has done a lot of government-sponsored testing as well. So the FCC acts like um, that the public has to go out and prove that cannabis, CBD, is uh, beneficial to them, and they have to have proof. And the FCC acts like that they're deaf, dumb, and blind when it comes to studies, medical journals, scientific journals, the National Institute of Health, um, it, you know, which is a government entity. And all they need to do, really, is to go out and do their own research. But, uh, I, you know, just in a half hour, 30 minutes of research, I came up with just a bunch of journals I'm just going to go, uh, you know, the studies and testing. And I'm going to go through a few of these. Uh, and uh, it, it's just re it's ridiculous that, well, and I'm going to tell you why. And you're going to see why at the end. 
So let's start out with the National Institute of Health. November 2007 came out with a publication. CBD represents the first non-toxic agent that can significantly decrease the LD-1 expression in breast cancer cells, leading to the downregulation of tumor aggressiveness. This is out there. This is a government publication saying this. This is not me. Journal of Neuroscience, February 2009, came out with a publication conclusion. Neurodegenerative diseases such as Huntington's disease may greatly benefit the CB, uh, from CBD-based medicines. Journal of Neuroscience, November 2009, drug addiction, conclusion, clearly greater attention needs to be given to the potential role of CBD in the treatment of addiction and other mental health disorders. The Journal of Biological Chemistry, September 2009. In summary, our results show that both THC and CBD exert anti-inflammatory effects. Nature.com, October 2003 published, positive effects of CBD on regional cerebral blood flow resulting in anxiety relief. Nature.com, November 2011, also about anxiety. CBD reduced the anxiety induced by simulated public speaking in treating social phobia patients. PLOS Journals, December 2011. The results of this study correlate and expand the findings suggesting that CBD as a potent compound that is able to modulate the experimental gut inflammation. So they're, they're, again, with uh, inflammation, reducing inflammation. British Pharmaceutical Society, April 2012, CBD as a potential anti-cancer drug. On the basis of these results, evidence is emerging to suggest that CBD is a potent, a potent inhibitor of both cancer growth and spread. I mean, this is the British Pharmaceutical Society, April 2012, folks. So, if you could get your, if you had cancer, and you could get your hands on some quality CBD, you think you would try that instead of going through some of this aggressive chemotherapy? Makes you sick. You lose your hair. That doesn't happen with CBD. You think the pharmaceuticals want you to know that? Journal of the American College of Cardiology, December 2010. Collectively, our results strongly suggest that CBD may have tremendous therapeutic potential in the treatment of diabetic cardiovascular and other complications. This is the Journal of uh, Neuroinflammation, 2011. Conclusion. This data highlights that the anti-inflammatory and vascular stabilizing effects of CBD in endotoxic shock. LWW Journals, Neuro Report, April 2002. CBD suppresses nausea in uh, experimental rats. Uh, this one is psychology.org, July 2007. Collectively, our results suggest that CBD has significant therapeutic benefits against diabetic complications and atherosclerosis. Science Direct, October 2011, Schizophrenia Research, Conclusion. Using high CBD content, cannabis was associated with significantly lower degrees of psychotic symptoms, providing further support for antipsychotic potential of CBD. So in summary, as I continued my research, I found studies suggesting CBD was successful in the treatment of epilepsy as a sedative for insomnia, a treatment for anxiety. It's an antipsychotic. A psychotic. It's a muscle relaxant. It's a potent antioxidant. It has neuroprotective properties. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. 
It's an, uh, excellent for the entire cardiovascular system. CBD induces a substantial cardioprotective effect. It has profound beneficial effects on diabetes. And it's been shown very promising studies in treatment of cancer. As a matter of fact, in February 2001, the Schaefer Library of Drug Policy asked the question, is CBD the wonder drug of the 21st century? Now, folks, I don't know, but in reality, the FDA need only go as far as doing their own research that is readily available on the Internet, which includes numerous publications by professional scientific and medical journals, as well as the National Institutes of Health. And as we said, that is a government entity. And now we're going to show you maybe why they're hedging a little bit about why the public or the public having access to CBD. Well, folks, look at look at what we have here. We have a, a U.S. patent, U.S. patent six six three zero five zero seven B one, and you know who it's assigned to? It's the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and you know what it's for? It's for cannabinoids and as oxidants and antioxidants and neuroprotectants. Yes, folks, the U.S. government has known about CBD and the beneficial effects of CBD for a very long time. This is 1999 that this uh, worldwide application came out. Um, I believe this first came out in 1998. That's what it looks like here. Um, but it goes on to say here that CBD is the cannabinoids uh, that are found have particular applications as neuroprotectants. For example, in limiting the neurological damage following isemic insults such as stroke and trauma or in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and HIV dementia. Did you hear that, folks? Again, if you know that, you know, my father has Alzheimer's disease, knowing this information right now, I'm going to make sure that he's going, he he's starts taking a quality CBD product. To be honest with you, I didn't even know that, uh, this was beneficial, CBD was uh, beneficial for, for Alzheimer's disease. I, I really did not. Now I wanted to go to this section in the, uh, the patent for uh, cannabidiol here, CBD, where it says uh, no signs of toxicity, toxicity or serious side effects. I want to go back here to uh, the takeaways from the FDA uh, meeting or the FDA hearing. Number four, the FDA has serious concerns about side effects, right? The FDA wants drugs to work, sure. Agency officials want food to be nutritious, but their first duty is to safeguard public health. That became quite clear at today's hearing as FDA officials often ask stakeholder follow-up questions about adverse reactions, negative side effects, and drug interactions regarding CBD. If you have data on these questions, the FDA wants to hear from you. Well, you can hear from me by going to your own U.S. patent, folks. Cannabidiol, CBD, no signs of toxicity or serious side effects have been observed following chronic administration of cannabidiol to healthy volunteers. So they already know the answer to whether CBD is safe or not. So here's my deal, folks. Here's what I'm thinking. You know, these guys have known about this stuff. The uh, FDA has known about uh, CBD. They know that it's safe because it, all it talks about the non-toxic qualities of CBD. Just, a, I really believe it is like a, a, it's a perfect supplement or as close as you can get to a perfect complementary 
supplement for aiding the body in uh, healing itself without harmful effects, side effects. So, you know, the, uh, <laughs> they pump these pharmaceuticals into us, which are poison. They do it for a very long time, as long as we will, are willing to accept it. And then we start getting this thing called the Internet and a lot of information flows. And uh, they've known all along that CBD is something that they could use that's natural that would not harm us and yet they decided to go a, uh, a harmful route you know where you've got chemotherapy and your hair is falling out and you're throwing up and you're losing weight and your liver is failing and all kinds of stuff and they know that this CBD is out there but they didn't use it but they're smart enough to know that the information flow uh, via the internet is eventually going to get to the people they're going to find out they're going to rebel they're going to start saying I'm not going to do the chemotherapy anymore I'm not taking your crappy pharmaceutical poisons anymore I'm going to take uh, CBD and things like Kratom and CBD which are natural and I'm, I'm going to heal myself I'm going to go down that route they're smart enough to know that that was going to happen. And that's why they put a patent on this. And that's why they're going to go, oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah we need to go the, uh, the healthy route now. And they could have went the healthy route all along, but they didn't. You have to ask yourself why. But now they're forced. So what are they going to do, folks? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to, they're going to regulate this. They're going to control this. And uh, you're not going to be able to get this on your own, probably. So it's going to be one of those very regulated uh, drugs, quote unquote, substances. And it's going to be very difficult to get without a subscription, a prescription, sorry. And that's that. So my advice to you is if you have access to quality CBD that's working for you, that that you somehow you get yourself a, a good supply of it because uh, my feeling is that at some point that it's going to go bye-bye and who knows what they're going to do to it once they get their hands on it as well what kind of other crap that they're going to put in it right i mean we we all we already know what they're putting in uh vaccines i mean why do you have to put some of the stuff that you're... Why do you have to put plastics in vaccines? And why do you have to put uh, mercury in vaccines? And why do you have to put aluminum in vaccines? And why do you have to put, you know, aborted uh, baby uh, tissue in vaccines? Why? Why are they doing that? Imagine what they're going to do to this pure substance. So, uh, yeah, these guys are smart. Again, I, I, I ask a question, you know, why you knew this... You had all these studies. You knew the unbelievable possibilities for CBD a long time ago, and yet you're you're pumping us with uh, crap drugs and poisons, pharmaceuticals. Shame on you. And the FCC once again acts like they're uh, deaf, dumb, and blind, and we have to prove to them that there's no side effects. They know that there's no side effects out there. They know it. They've done the studies. The studies are out there. They'll, they'll, they'll wash this. They'll wash all of these studies, by the way. It was very difficult for me to find some of these studies because if you don't do a, a closed search, date range search, or a particular date range, it's very difficult to find this stuff because if you do it just a regular date search, it's going to come up with all of, uh, the recent information about uh, CBD and a lot of it's negative and it, a lot of it's contradictory, all right? The government is contradicting itself from studies that they've uh, put out in, in the 90s and in, in the 80s, and in some cases, the 70s. But now all of a sudden, uh, you know, we've got to do a lot more testing. We've got to watch it. Come on, you want to know why? It's because the, because the public is becoming very knowledgeable about things because of the Internet, very difficult 
and that's why that's why you're seeing a, a, a Google scrub you know on information very difficult to get some information out there so anyway God bless you folks uh, I hope this uh, helps you um, we are we are selling a very good product uh, a very good CBD product through uh, healthy place botanicals we've had a relationship with them for uh, several years now as a matter of fact uh, we are I am now uh, managing their YouTube channels uh, uh, healthy place botanical YouTube channel as well as healthy place hemp channel which uh, is not exactly functional yet there's still some things that we need to do about that as, as well as the uh, website that's coming out but uh, I'd like you to visit if you have any questions about the uh, quality or the company or anything like that feel free to give me a an email at ridrad at protonmail.com or at victorious libertas at protonmail.com god bless you folks take care have a wonderful day afternoon evening